Hello everybody, Sandra Delaja here. Good evening. Welcome to this, our program tonight. The program is Creative and Innovative Hour. We are going to be meeting with a unique Nigerian that uh, has done something that I really want to find out. Is it, a, is it for real or is it fluke? Because if it's for real, we are, we are in uh, for something very, very great here. And uh, so this is the innovative and uh, creative and innovative hour where we try to encourage Nigerian innovators, inventors, and people who are coming up so that they will get prominence and they will be exposed to the world stage. Today, this young man claims to know the secret and have the invention of making energy, electricity, come out of thunder, bolts, and lightning. Energy, electricity from thunder and lightning. This is impressive indeed. And you know what? If this is really true, I, I will commit to, uh, by the grace of God, I will commit to doing everything in my power to find finances, resources, connection, everything that is needed for Emmanuel to be able to build a factory or an institute or uh, a center, an energy center or something, or a laboratory. You know, we are going to, I'm going to do my best to make sure that this guy finds all the support he could in the world, especially after I, after I leave Ukraine. Well, once my challenge here in Ukraine is over, I will not even just find help. I'm going to find him money. Money, any amount of money that will be needed for him to do what he needs to do. We are going to find it, if this is true. Because in Nigeria, we have a lot of thunder there. <laughs> and a lot of lightning. So we must convert it. This is conversion for real. We must convert it to... Uh, to energy and power. And uh, right now, we need a lot of money, up to maybe 20, 20, from, from 20 to $50 billion to generate the kind of electricity that we need in Nigeria. But if it's going to be generated by our own person and with our own natural uh, resources like lightning and thunder, uh, I think that money, instead of giving it to the Chinese and to... Americans, we should give it to our own people. Let them use their own technology to generate it. Well, I want to introduce you to Emmanuel right now. So, hello, uh, Emmanuel. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Good evening, sir. Wow. Look, look, tell me. This thing I'm reading here, is it for real or it is, a, it is some promotional fluke? It's for real. Actually, thunder lightning energy converter is something is an is a power generating plant that is a, is a power generating plant that is a current very high current that comes from lightning. Actually, if you take a breakdown of lightning, you'll find out that thunder lightning, the, the thunder does not have you know any current or energy there. What really carries the current or huge power is the lightning. Yeah, the lightning comes with an average power of 20 billion watts. Wow. 20 billion watts. It's not possible. Yeah. And no, wait, wait. It's possible, 20, yeah. billion, 20 billion watts, you are talking about at the source or at the point of, at the point of, uh, at the source, at the, at the beginning stage or at the point of des descendants? Yeah, at, 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 the, at the point of, depending on the magnitude of the lightning. Because if you take a look at the, 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 from the atmosphere, from the equator level below, where we experience, maybe from the rain clouds, where we experience rain, yes. you know, we usually, we usually have this thunder, thunder and then lightning and, 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 and stress getting... And I will need you to move air, backward. You will need to move backward a little bit because your head is cut off. Yes. Okay. Now, if, if you take a look at the rain cloud, where lightning and thunder occurs during raining or maybe before raining or after raining, you know, when, when depending on the magnitude that lightning comes along with, there are some heavy strikes of lightning 
that comes with that maximum power, that's 20 billion, an average of 20 billion watts. Why maybe a, a little strike or a lower uh, um, capacity strike may not actually come with that 20 billion watts, but it may come with uh, less than 20 billion. And in Nigeria, we are, we are generating 33,000 votes, and then we scale it up to 330,000 votes. So even if we, we unless five megavolts from lightning, we, we, and maybe I will subtract what Nigeria is generating, which is 330,000 votes. We should, have about, we should be having about 4,600 and something you know, million votes left from lightning. So it's actually a big project. My God. Now, what I want to find out is who has experimented this? Who has verified it? Because here in the West, any claim must be verified by, uh, you know, by experiment. What do you call it? Is it? Huh? No, experiment, laboratory experiment or something. Well, you know, in Nigeria, yeah, when you, when you talk about uh, an invention like this, you know, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, they wouldn't want someone to kind of solve the power problem in Nigeria because. Um, because of importation of Lister's, Perkins, and uh, uh, Mikano's generator, you know, some of the, the cabas, uh, you know, who are in charge of importation of these Lister's, Perkins, and Mikano's generators, they wouldn't want their business to be cut off. So, then, so, so permit me to say that even the Minister of Power, that's Minister of Power Works and Housing, Babatule Fashola, he knows what to do for, for steady power to be in Nigeria. But because of the cabas who are in charge of importation of Lister's, Perkins, and Mikano generator, they, they want to, you know, talk to him not to, to uh, 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 truncate or uh, uh, destroy or spoil their business of import, uh, importing generators in the country. So actually, when you talk about solving the issue of power problem, maybe through um, an NSC, Nigerian Society of Engineers, they will not know what to give a listening in. Because they've seen me on several uh, uh, um, medias, like Channel TV UK, and uh, um, uh, um, uh, D. Dot German Industry, the Guardian uh, Business Day newspaper, that I've, where I came out from. They would have at least my contacts are there for them to reach me, but they don't. They don't want to reach me because they know what they are doing, because they know that there's steady power supply in this country. Then importation of Mikano's listers and package generator will be affected and that will definitely affect your business. Yeah, so nobody to verify, no one has verified your claims. Yes, sir. Nobody has verified. Yes, sir. What is yes, sir? But I have, I, I, I have um, um, some professors that was in 2012 when they invited me to UN and the University of Nigeria and Osuka. You know, for me to come and defend my the thunder lightning energy converter. So I went there with the industrial plan that I drew. Is actually I have it close to me. Yeah, the industrial plan is is something that explains how the lightning will be unnest, how it will be trapped, how it will be unnest, how it will be sensed, how it will be tra and, and converted from static energy to electrical energy, and how it will be transmitted from you know from one source to the other. For instance, what I mean is when when we have a trapping and states like maybe all this river and area like river states like um, cross river states like delta states like Edo states where we have more of lightning you know we can unless we can build a, a power station there that we unless this lightning and then we'll convert it into power then from there we we'll transmit it to a national grid where the whole of nigeria we have lights so no they invited you to unn university of usoka yeah. okay then what happened yeah. there yeah, I think three professors, Professor Animalu, Professor Umba, and uh, Venerable Reverend Professor Madwemi, these are the three professors that invited me in 2012 to come and talk about the thunder lightning. So after I finish, you know, explaining to them, proving to them how the lightning will be trapped and then converted and transmitted. So they said it is possible, but the problem is there is no money in the country that can foot such a research or that can, that can solve the, a, a, a prototype, you know? So that is what is actually discouraging people that is going to be a, a mega project and 
Nigeria will not have much money to put um, uh, research or to, to uh, uh, sponsor research. So, so that for, was where it ended. Since then, they've not invited me again. Okay, for 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 you to embark on the uh, research and the building of the plants and the industrial scale production of this thing, will you, you will, will you need a team of professionals and experts, or you know you will build your own team? How does it work? professional experts that will work with me or that I will work with. Yes. Because it's, it's a collaborative work. It's not a work, it's not a one man standing project. Now if you see the plan I drew two thousand and four, that was about uh, twelve to fourteen years ago. Then the one I drew two thousand and ten, the one I drew two thousand and twelve and the one I drew two thousand and thirteen. You know, there are various stages, you know. So when 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 these professionals you know come to take a look at the industrial plan or invite me to come and Show them the plan uh, on how we can bring a prototype before a, a legal one that can power, uh, you know, and uh, we, we have to work together as a team. It's just like a building of a car. We have engineers that are into production of the, the tires, engineer that produces the wheel, engineer that produces the fiber of the, the car, engineer that. The sound system, the energy converter plant to be built. It will consist of various engineers to join me. Is your drawing, is it possible to show your drawing and then explain it? Or did you send us the, I mean, you. Well. Do, uh, did you send it to us, no? Or you have it in one of the videos? I have it in. In, 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 in but if, I don't think why I, I cannot show it to the world now. No, we have a lot of inventors watching now. Okay, it's too early. It's too early. So if, if I show it, yeah, if I show it to the world now, they'll copy it. Okay. So, okay. so for us to prevent this, um, 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 like the project to be exposed, I have to send it to you privately so that you can go. No, no, it. no, don't send it to me. Don't, don't send it to anybody, even me. Don't send it to me. Don't send it to anybody. Okay. Yeah, don't send it to anybody, even me. So, but, but you know what? If the issue of my country is just because they don't have money to support someone like you, don't worry. We don't need that country. We don't need that government. We will not need that government, but we will do the thing we will need to do by the grace of God. We are going to find you the support. We are going to find you the financing that is needed to do what is needed to be done. And I'm going to get in touch with other uh, inventors that I've brought here and we are going to help them to do what they need, what with, with that, what needs to be done. Because, uh, all right. So, but how did you? Why is it that you were able to discover this and come across this idea and this invention when we have thousands of engineers being produced all over the world, even millions being produced, and they have not been able to generate that? What can tell me your story? What kind of background did you have? What kind of family did you grow in? How did you study? Is it just a gift from God or is it a product of your hard work, research, or what sparked it? Where was the light bulb moment that, you know, yeah, made you to know that, yes, you can do something special? Well, well actually, I was born into a family of eight and uh, six girls, two boys. And I, I am the fifth child in the family, and the first son. We are just two boys, me and my younger brother, yeah, um, Santos Obayagbona. Yeah. So actually, I started my invention at a very tender age. I, I, according to my dad, at the age of six, that, that was when I started, you know, doing all these small, 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 small things, picking condemn radio, picking touch light at our sports, you know, a lot of things that my dad said I did when I was very, very small, when I was a you know, so was before I entered and um, is it primary one or primary two? <laughs> so my, my dad said from my, my from the age that, of six. Yeah, my dad said that I started at a very tender age when I was very small that they do beat me to go out to go to school, to go to you know all this um, nursery school and all that. 
that actually. So they, 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 if I try to pick something from I bring to the house, they will flog me and I'll send me back to school because I schooled in a nursery, DSC nursery and primary school one, you know, where I started my KG, my nursery school. Then after I entered primary one, then my father said that when I entered primary one, that, that I was stick, I continue picking condemned torchlights, all this radio, condemned radio, things that are a remote control that people threw away that I was picking them and bringing them to the house. So, I, I, so at the age of 16, when I was 16 years old, there's a TV station in Delta State, that's Delta Rainbow Television, worry, that discovered me. That's, and there's a woman called Christy Shofu, Mrs. Christy Shofu. She was, she was the one that actually discovered this talent when I was at 16, yeah, in a Delta Rainbow Television. So she, she fixed me on a program on, at Delta Rainbow Television called the Right of a Child Program. That was at the age of 16. So I continue, you know, my invention progress. So I entered secondary school. So when I was in secondary school... No, what did, you, what did you... What did you do? What did you produce... At that age of 16, what did you have to show that they invited you? What did they what did she see that make that yeah. to invite you? Yeah, there was this um prototype of um, um, um architectural design model, this housing plan, this architectural model, house model. Yeah, so I, I used wood, wood to structure an estate in a wood. Yeah, I, I, I used plywood. I designed an estate, a real house, as most, 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 more houses. I fixed light in all the houses, you know. I put water tank inside. I put soldier men, all these toy soldier men, toy cars, then soldier men that carries gun, all these toy toys. I put them. Then I put toy cars. I put flower. It's like a real estate, but it was made with wood. So I, I took it to Delta Rainbow Television Worry at Ejeba. So the, the woman saw it from afar off, thinking I, I was selling something. So she now called, called <laughs> told the security people to call me. That what is that boy holding holding on his hand? That they should call that boy. So I came. When I came, she said, "What are you selling?" I said, "I'm not selling anything. That I designed this uh, housing complex, this architectural uh, uh, model of a house, of a, a, an estate. How I, how an estate should look like." So the woman said, "Wow, that you produce this?" I said, "Yes." So she said, "Do you mind if I fix you on the right of a child program that is for 16 years below?" So I now said yes that I mind that I will want to I will want to be on the right of a child program. So she then put me on on TV, you know, and, and then they featured me on the right of a child program at the age of uh, 16. So that was actually the first time I came on the right of a child program on Delta Rainbow Television News. Worry, I think if we go back to Delta Rainbow Television, they still have those records on VHF with them. But apart from that estate, was there, were there other small, small things that you had designed before? Yes, sir. I did water heater using a um, 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 picnic thing. This picnic. In, in Nigeria, there's what is called picnic. We do, do use it to... Oh, okay. The, so the, the thin, the thin, the thin, the thin uh, bottled, the thin yeah. uh, can, can uh, milk. Yes, yes. You use it to I design what? The, the water heater. Wow. And, and and it boiled water. So when plugged to electricity, it was submerged into a water. And the after some uh, hours, the water started boiling without elements, without elements on it, without anything coil, just ordinary wire with with that three of those heat. I can still do it today if if I'm if I'm if I'm called to do it for the world to see. Yeah. So I use I I I, I use three to, to build a heater, put it inside an, a, a bucket of water, plug it into a socket. Then I even put my hand on the water, it doesn't shock, does not electrocute. That is if the house is heated. It doesn't take electricity. So after some hours the water started boiling. Delta Rainbow Television still have the record of that water heater I used milk tin to design. I, I, I was selling them to understand that Someone that have a tiger generator past my neighbor can use it to boil water for bats. You know that. Then I did touch lights, and I did extension, I did bedside lamp for sleeping. You know, I did a lot of things at the age of 16. <laughs> so at secondary school, I was even given scholarship to finish to run my secondary school without paying school fees by my to Mr. S. E. Agogovia. So your secondary school recognized your talent. 
Yes, sir. My proprietor of uh, Challenge Academy uh, senior, uh, second, senior Secondary School, he, he, he gave me scholarship because of my invention prowess. And not just that, he also encouraged me by giving me money when I was very, when I was still, uh, when I was in SS1. He started giving me money, gave me scholarship, so I don't pay for anything in the, in the school. So he said I should use those money to do more projects and go on air with those school fees money and other things. Wow. Okay, but how did you stumble on the idea of, you know, uh, energy from, st from thunder? When was the first time the idea occurred to you? It was when I was in Challenge Academy Secondary School, DSC, Omi and Laja, in, in Wari Delta State. I was in front of my class, you know, SS2. That was, that was 2004, October 1st, that I actually got the idea. So I was in front of my in class. So I told my friends that we can generate electricity from thunder because at that day it was actually raining. It was raining and there was lightning from thunderstorm. So I now told my friends that this lightning carries current too. So they were laughing. So all of a sudden, some of them were touching this zinc. They used the roofing our school because just like a one story building, a bungalow, just like a bungalow. So as we were playing with the zinc, why it was raining and lightning. So all of a sudden, so then I got electrocuted from lightning. You know, it, so, and I said, they, they not told me that, uh, Emmanuel, we were electrocuted by thunder lightning. I said, it's a lie. I said, okay, let the lightning strike. Let me touch the, touch the zinc. If it will shock me, I don't believe. So I, I now touch the zinc as I place my hand on the, on the roof like this. So I was waiting for lightning. So when the lightning strike and uh, uh, stroke, the, light, the, the zinc electrocuted me, eh? Very, very much that I, I, I was just like a madman within, <laughs> within the space of five minutes. <laughs> Memories of yesterday. So that was how I actually got the, how the idea came that electricity can be generated from them, thunder lightning. So uh, in 2004, that same October 1st, in the ninth, I was, I, I was in a dream. You know, in that dream, what, there was a man putting on white, white, um, you know, uh, garments. So is is the man told me that that do I know I can generate electricity from thunder? I said how. He now started showing me how the plan, how the the, the diagram was drawn. So I still have the plan. Yeah, I have the plan right here. So the man now showed me that actually he wants to show me how to convert his power to electricity. So I now said, what is your power? He now said lightning. He now said I should check a place in the Bible. That was Psalm 70, 75 verse four. This Psalm seventy. So Psalm something, Psalm 73, verse 4. He said that the is lightning and lightings. Okay, the, the is lightning and lightings the rain. As it is lightning and lightings the world, the earth saw and trembled. Psalm 75, verse 6. That is lightning and lightings the world, the earth saw and trembled. I saw it in that dream. That was the Bible verse he gave me. So when I woke up, I carried my Bible. I now check. The place, the verse he gave me, it, uh, it said, is, is lightning and lightens the world. And the lightning there is L I G H T N I N G. That's thunder lightning. And lightens the world. The earth saw and trembled. Then he now showed me another place again in Bible, this Psalm 137. I don't know. In that dream. So I now saw he make it lightning for the rain. That's lightning from thunder for the rain. Then he caused the wind to blow out of his stretches. And then it causes the vapor to ascend, to ascend from the ends of the earth. He said, these are the three sources of electricity that I gave the world. So it was actually an inspiration I got from that dream. After the school experience, I, felt, I went into, a, uh, into you know, any night, I got a dream. It showed me plans. So I drew the plan according to how I saw it. Then in 2010, by June 2010, I have all the plans here. They are here with me right now. So, just that I don't know who is watching. I would have, you know, showed you the four plans of, of, of how lightning will be a, a, a trap, and instead transmitted and, a, a, and a converted and transmitted to national grid. You know, so it showed me that I drew it. Then in 2012, November, in, in, in November 2012, I also it showed me another one. I I drew it. Then I I, I now went to sleep one day in, in the night. I I dreamt around that kind. You know, in the night, around that kind of four, when I, you know, when I was 
in a dream. You know, in, in that dream, he told me that I think people said it will not work. I said, yes, how do you know? He said, it's following me at my back. That I should come. Let him go and show me where his power is generating electricity. So I now followed him. In that dream, he took me to a forest where there is a lightning a, a, a mask, this network mask that carries a lightning arrestor at the top of the mask. Then he showed me, um, I can remember vividly that he showed me 10 halogen bulbs that were hung somewhere, you know. Then he showed me the super, as in big, big, very mighty capacitors. They're as big as GP tank. This GP tank, they use the storing water here in Nigeria, you know, this uh, reservoir. Yeah, the super capacitors were as big as that. They were up to five in numbers. Then he showed me the conversion zone that converts the channels from the lightning to electricity. And I told me that I should walk around the, the place that in the forest, just like the way MTN used to build their mask in the bush. That is how that lightning something was, mask was, was done. So he started showing me what was inside the mask. When the lightning strike, the, the thunder wrestle will trap the whole power from lightning. And then between the, inside the lightning, the thunder wrestle, there, there will be a separation like this, the upper chamber and the lower chamber. So the upper chamber will trap all the lightning energy. Then the lower chamber will carry the, the arc currents. You know, the, the major resistance filter, the current that we want or the power that we want to be, to supply Nigeria or other African countries that experiences like me. So it showed me everything. So I drew it and I did a, a, a little prototype. So it, it wasn't a working prototype. It was a non-working prototype. I designed that non-working prototype in 2006. Then I designed another prototype in 2012, March. So they are not working prototype, but I have them in data states where I kept them safe since 2006 and 2010 and 12. They are still in my house till today. Not in Abakeleki here, because I'm serving here. I'm doing my NYNC service here. They are in Delta State, but I have the industrial the plans of the thunder. The one that you showed me 2004, the one you showed me 2010, the one you showed me 2012, and the one you showed me 2013. I have all the plans right here in Abakeleki where I'm serving. I came with them here. Has your story been broadcasted into the media or television or newspaper before? Yes, sir. In some of the medias like China's TV UK, Doshola TV Germany, Doshola TV Espano, that Spanish country, then Doshola TV Africa, then um, Rave TV International, then Core TV International, then NTA International, AIT International, and lots more. They then even on newspapers like Daily Sun, Business Day, and the Guardian newspaper, then The Nation, The Champion, The Advocate, The Truth, The Carbon Capture Report, Chicago, USA, and then lots more. African Leadership Magazine, Hansa African Magazine, IT Tech Africa Magazine, Africa Entrepreneur African Magazine, Modern Parts Magazine, you know, The Ambassadors Magazine, and lots more. The, the Real African Magazine, they've actually they've Broadcasted this thing, they've published it all over the world. So it really went viral on the internet, but yet no invitation, no call to come and prove it. I also heard that somebody was going to do uh, ele uh, electricity from energy, I mean from thunder, but I thought it was already, you know, everybody that is hearing this thing will think it's already in process, it's already done. So, but thank God that. It is here God brought you to. You know what? Yes, sir. One thing I can tell what? you is this. One thing I can tell you is this. <laughs> um, begin just to relax. Just go and relax. And begin to thank your God. And also pray that the thing will happen faster. But begin to thank your God and, um, and to pray that, you know, because the fact that God has brought you to meet me, I can tell you with all assurance that you have been sorted out. You have, God himself knows mm -hmm. why he brought you to this place. 
God himself who appeared to you in that dream and who showed you this idea knows that all these years you've been waiting and he knows the person to connect you with. I bet you that me, by the grace of God, I'm going to connect you. I'm going to do anything possible. We are going to find that money. Even if it's going to be $1 billion. Even if it's going to be $10 billion, we are going to find it. And this thing is going to come to fruition in Jesus' name. Now, when I talk like this, people always say, Amen. bring the money today or bring the money tomorrow. I can't. I am in, you know, I am, right now I cannot. I'm, uh, you know, I have to finish my fight here. And I have to come out of uh, my situation here. But once you hear that DSA has left Ukraine, get in touch with me again. And not just you, Nelson, Emeka Nelson also, uh, Jerry, uh, Omale, was it? Malu, all of them. We need to get in touch with them. But once they hear that I'm here from Ukraine, finito. They, we can begin to, you know, to do something very constructively. But uh, if you, do you understand or do you have anybody that could help you to come up with calculations and uh, mm, business plans or, you know, so that you people could uh, tell us what is needed and, you know, how much a, uh, approximately is going to cost and, you know, what is needed, the amount of money that will be needed the amount of, the kind of engineers that will be needed, the kind of expertise, all kind of, you know, like a business, full business plan and something like that. Do you have it already or you plan to do it? Uh, actually, I plan to do it, but my challenge is that I I know the various team of engineers, not by, not facially anyway. They, they are, they no, no, not facially, like just the the... the not the individuals, I mean, just what is needed, the profession. Yeah, yeah. But my problem now is that, or my challenge right now is that I don't know how to write a business plan or a business proposal. Ah, okay. But I believe that if it, if, if it, if it can come through you, uh, it, uh, it will be a welcome development. Yeah, maybe somebody could, who is watching us now could help. Uh, but don't worry, even if you don't have that, don't worry. Uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to, once you finish your service, uh, we are going to, you know, arrange for you to uh, to be invited. Uh, maybe, can you, uh, you, or you don't want to leave Nigeria? I want to leave Nigeria, of course. <laughs> because that's where you meet people with like dream, the same dream, where you can work with people, you can share ideas. Like, actually, uh, there was a white man that contacted me, that was yesterday. But he's not planning to invite me anyway. He, he just said he, he, he commended my effort. There was this work clock I posted on my Facebook page. That, uh, on my Facebook, that's Emmanuel Obayagbona. That was my Facebook ID. I, 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 I posted the work clock. It was through dream I saw the work clock, actually. It, what do you call this book? Wall clock? Yes, sir. A work clock. Yeah. So this work clock, it was in a dream I saw the clock where it gave light. In my house, in that dream, it charges phones. Different phones were brought in the dream. So when I woke up, I said, "God, I like that vision you showed me." It was so that this vision of the work clock. It was 2012 September. So I now went to buy clock. So I I, I started building clock lights since that day. And even the ones I have in my room right here is still working. The one I'm using personally is in my room right here and is working. You know, it can it can give light. LED lights. It's about six watts bulb, and uh, six watts, six watts um, LED lights fixed inside the work clock. So at night, when there is no light, it can illuminate your room for a couple of ten hours to twelve hours, without reduction of the intensity of the light from the clock. <laughs> at the same time, one can charge his iPhones, his iPad, his tablets, or his Android devices using the work clock. So and 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 the clock is being charged by solar. It's a sustainable energy clock. It, the solar panel we are fixed outside. Outside they are fixed outside. Yeah, in a back lake, you are serving now. This, I have a solar panel in my roof, in on top of my roof outside, where sun hits the panel. Then then a wire was connected down to my house, my room here, yeah, connected to the clock, my work clock now. So throughout the daytime, the clock has been charging via solar. So this night now I'm going to turn it on. 
and I'm going to use it again. I keep using sleeping with lights every day because the light is coming from a work lock. And I charge my phone with my work lock. I charge my power bank with my work lock. I charge my, uh, you know, so many things. Uh, USB enabled devices have been charged with this work lock. I think I've, I have a lot of work lock that has been given out, sold out, you know. Now, I can use a picture to design a work lock and I, I'll fix light on it. You can charge phones, you can charge your iPhones, your iPad, your tablets, your Android devices, even your 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 power bank. The clock can charge them. So now since I saw it, I started building it. So I said, people were buying them. People were buying them, you know. The, the one I have in my room now is the 22 one, the 22 clock, you know, that I'm using now. I've sold about 21. So I, I just build this one for personal use. A wall plug that is producing electricity. Yeah, LED lights. And the LED light is about six watts. Can brighten up your room, can brighten up your office, can brighten, brighten up your uh, your house. Any, anywhere you fix the wall clock, it will, it will, it, the, the intensity of the light is so bright. And at the same time, it has USB cord that came from the wall clock that you can charge your phones, your iPhones, your iPad, your tablets, and your Android devices. I'm even looking forward to... Go to China if God provide way for me. Get a clock mass produced and then sell it with solar panel at cheaper rates in African countries like Libya, Kenya, Malawi, Zimbabwe, you know, uh, uh, Mali, Nigeria, Ghana, all African countries where they suffer power outage, a uh, power problem. The work clock can provide lights and can charge their phones and all that. So it's not generator. No, it's not a generator. It's powered. The, the work lock is powered, actually powered with a power bank of twenty thousand mAh. Yeah, it's, it, that's the, the 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 power bank that powers the the work lock, the lighting system. And in the work lock, there it has a, a six watts LED lights that so bright. Energy saving like you fall on the ground at night. You can bend that and put. I think if people should check my. Those that are watching, they check my Facebook and page and, 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 and timeline, Emmanuel Obayagbona. You know, they will see all this work lock I uploaded on the internet. They are okay, on my let's Facebook. show the name. Let's Emmanuel show Obayagbona the name, please, so that Emmanuel, the Obayagbona is O O B. Yeah, we see it. A we see it now, Obayagbona. Okay. But o Obayagbona is from uh, Edo. Yes, sir. Obayagbona is from Edo. State. But, but you have not mentioned Edo so much. You have mentioned Delta, Enugu, uh, Eboi. What you you didn't grow up in your state? No, I was not born and brought up in that in Edo State. I was born and bred up in Delta State. For me. Then I schooled in, in. I did my secondary, primary, you no, know, my nursery, primary, and secondary in Worry Delta State. That's Charlie Academy in secondary school, then DSC nursery school one, Omi and Laja. Then my higher institution was INT, Institute for Management and Technology, INT Enugu, where I studied electrical engineering. And now I'm serving in a boy state of oh. I think I'm passing out by June this year. You are passing you are finishing this year. Good. Yes, by June. You know you said you would like to go abroad. Yes, sir. Would you like to, what would you like to go abroad to do? To study or to just exchange ideas and you know, meet with uh, like-minded scientists? I want to further my education because what I have here in Nigeria is HND, that's Higher National Diploma. I want, to do, I want to further my education, if possible, in abroad, where I can continue to study in electrical uh, engineering you know, or technical education. You know, then I also I also like to meet people of same dream, like mind, like minded people, so where we can share more ideas. Because I have a lot of invention, so many inventions I have, you know, that really need to be mass produced in China. But that will not stop me from furthering my education. I really want to further my education so that I will achieve my educational dream, my career. <laughs> you know what? I'm looking at you and I'm smiling. And the reason I'm smiling is because of what I know. I know that you are settled. 
Because if it is scholarship you, yes, you need, God, by God's grace, you will get it. And not just scholarship. We have to give you protection. Amen. We, protection, I mean, you know, security. Yes, you, you have to be hidden. You know, in Russia, those days, when Soviet Union you know, used to be here, they discover people like this, and the government will build university for them. Or that they will get gather around maybe 100 other professors and make them to build everything that science knows up to now and then show them, people like you, you know, and may give them all conditions for them to be able to get more and more and more ideas. And, they, you know, that is how they be, are able to build yes, all their technology. We've got to do something like that for you. We've got to protect you, yes, surround you with experts. And I'm just so glad that God brought you here. You know, right now, I'm, I know the way you are mm -hmm. feeling because I've passed through that myself. You are feeling like nobody is hearing you and everything is helpless and no connection. No, nobody is interested. Very good. Yes, but sir. that has brought you here. Today, this place, you have seen somebody who's interested. And I will not forget. The same thing I said about Nelson, Emeka. The same thing I said about Jerry Marlow. It might delay. It might delay. But it would surely come to pass. Mm, by the grace of God, because Amen. Uh, so what are the, you say? There are some other inventions that you have. Yes, sir. That need to I come. Been, yeah. I, Mention yeah, them. I, I, I actually, I have a, a remote control work lock lighting system. It is a, a work lock that can, you know, provide light for four hours. A small work, a normal clock. This one is using remote control. So when, when there's public power outage, you can use your TV remote, your DVD remote, your 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 um, in satellite remote, cable satellite remote, any remote at all. Just point it towards the clock, press any button for two seconds, the light will come on. You know, and it can it can it can provide illumination in your sitting room, your office, your house for four good hours, and it's so bright, and it, and it's charged by solar or public power supply. You know, that's one. Then two, I have I can produce a work clock that that when you walk into your office, the light in the clock will come on on its own. You know, and then I'll design a music system in the clock that will have an as in an MP3 radio music system in the clock. In so that when you walk into the room, the light will come on, the music system will start playing. If you put your memory card or your flash drive, all the music crystal music you have there. You know, they will start playing, you know. It's, it's going to be titled The Entertainment Clock. Then it will be charged by solar. It will have a solar panel outside. The clock will be in the house, charged whenever there is sun. Then it will also be charged by public power supply. When there is no solar, it will switch to public power supply and start charging itself automatically. And in the daytime, if you walk out of the city room or the office, the, it, the lights will go off, the sound system will go off, the music will go off, everything will go off. You can do that. Then I also have a generator power booster. I'm not here to promote generator in Africa because I'm talking about solving the issue of public power challenge in the, that Africa is actually passing through. But for the main time, I have a, a product called generator power booster. Do I sell them for now to raise little, little money, you know, to foot up my some little utility bills, and, you know, to pay electricity bills? to go out, to, to, to buy data on my phone, you know, to, you know, put food in the house. Yeah, this is what I use, the little money I get from the generator power booster to do for now. You know, it's something that can enable your Tiger generator or any kind of generator to, to be powering pressing iron. Like, for instance, a lot of people know that this I pass my neighbor generator in Nigeria, this Tiger generator, usually called I pass my neighbor. It cannot be used to power pressing iron. But with the aid of this generator, it cannot be used booster, to power what? Like socket. It, like it cannot be used to power what? Pressing iron. Oh, pressing iron. iron. Electric iron. Pressing, pressing iron. iron. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it cannot be used to power pressing iron. So, but with the aid of this gen booster, you plug it to your wall socket just like an extension. Then you plug your pressing iron there. Turn on your, your 0.5 generator. That is 500 watts, 0.5. And you are good to go. Your, your lighting system will be on. Your music, you'll be playing your music, your fan will be on, and at the same time, you'll still be ironing successfully with it. 
Even though there are bigger generators that when you plug iron, it will be dragging the generator. You know, with the aid of that product, the, the generator will never know that iron is plugged to it because the gen booster will take a minimum of 0.001 amp from the generator. So to the generator, 0.001 amp is just like charging a phone. But to the product, it's powering a, press, a, a heavy load like pressing iron, microwave, hair dryer, rice cooker, deep fryer, uh, electric kettle, electric oven. If you power them using your generating sets. <laughs> so I have that one. Huh? I have somebody yes, here who I wants to get that booster already. <laughs> <laughs> Then they here for my room. They are going to Nigeria. They will get in touch with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can even produce it in their presence if they want me to. Wow. Yeah, I've sold over 4,000 pieces have been sold out. Wow. More than 4,000 pieces have been sold out. Yeah. So I also have a um, re remote control and uh, switch connected to your, 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 fan, your ceiling fan regulator in your house. You can turn off your fan using your TV remote, and you can turn on your fan using your TV remote. Yeah. You and a lot more remote, remote for fan. Your your TV remote, your television remote. Okay. If you point it, yes, if you point it to the remote control switch, I produce via your your regulator, your fan regulator. You can turn off your fan and turn it on. But in a situation whereby the fan was in number one which is the highest like smc or number five like all this uh, giant system ceiling fan if the fan is in number five and you use the remote to turn it off it will go off then if you if you are feeling heat you need the fan back you can use your tv remote point it towards regulator of the fan press any button towards regulator of the fan then the fan will come on so you can be in the bed and turn on your fan apart from you you know that same speed that is in that was in the fan regulator it is the same speed of uh, air that we come out from the fan when you use your TV remote to turn it on. Then I've done so many things, um, so many, many things, like I'm into power bank, solar power bank production, solar phone charger production, solar uh, wall clock lighting system, solar emergency lights, you know, solar uh, um, and phone charger. So, so many things that have to do with solar inverter, solar inverters, solar domestic lights, so many things. As in, I, I'm into design generally. Design. Yeah. Creativity, innovation. Yes, innovation. Yeah. Even the, there's a frame now called solar frame. You know, at night, the, during the daytime, the frame will be charging. Then at night, the frame will give lights. What do you call yes. frame? What is frame? So now, a frame is something that can carry your picture. Ah. So I can carry your picture. Yeah, this picture frame. Picture frame. Yeah. So I did, yes. So I don't like photographers, they will snap you picture and then they'll enlarge it in, in an enlargement called a, a, a photo frame. Yeah. Now if you go to some Nigerian houses, they will just just like the one in my bag, something like the one in my bag, but that one is not carrying a picture. It's just a wooden construction something, you know. So something like this, you want yeah, I do something like that, uses solar. It will provide light in the house at night. It can be used to charge your iPhones, your iPad, your tablet, and your, your <laughs> Android devices, your power bank, and so on. Yeah. So I'm, in, I'm into cosmetology, I'm into paint production, and lots more. Cosme cos what? Cosmet cos cos cosmetology, yeah. Perfume, production of perfume, Hazai, Detoy, shampoo, bleach, moisturizing bathing soap, air freshener. And cosmetology more, what i you are you mean you are selling them or you are producing them i'm producing them i buy the chemicals the raw chemicals and then i use them to produce those items i just mentioned <laughs> what well, them the items again yeah a lot of people do buy them like for instance now in nigeria we they do buy this type to wash their white clothes so i but i use 700 naira to produce 10 liters of hypo, 10 liters of bleach or jig for washing whites and toilets. You know, just, and, and, and with 700 naira, it will give me 10 liters and it will last up to three six, to six months, depending on how I use it. Then this is a moisturizing soap for bathing. Nigerians here, yeah, people buy it 2,500, 3,000 naira, but I will use that same 3,000 naira to produce 10 liters of moisturizing bathing soap, that's shower cream. 
and it will last up to six months. Then this um, liquid soap for washing of plates, dishes, dishwash. I will use just 1,000 naira to produce 10 liters, and it will last me. Then, then um, perfume, I will use, you know, 2,000 naira to produce designer's perfume, high-quality per perfume that people wear on their clothes. Yeah, even body spray. With 2,000 naira, I can produce body spray, good body spray. Then even uh, uh, air cream, you know, anti-dandruff shampoo. With 2,000 naira, we produce 10 liters of good shampoo for washing of uh, women's hair. You know, it kills dandruff. So, and, and even and, and, and toilet wash, this epic that they use in washing toilets, I produce them with, with 3,000 error, I produce 10 liters. And you can you wash, you, at that 10 liters can stop to three to six months. You won't buy epic in the house. Air freshener, liquid air freshener. I produce up to 10 liters with 3,000, 500, 4,000 error. I'll produce up to 10 liters in the house. So you won't buy liquid air freshener and lots more. Even custard, the custard for children and custard for adults. I produce them. I don't buy custard in my house. I produce my own high quality custard. No, no, we have to sort this guy out. We have to sort this guy out. This is in Nigeria where there is nothing new. What about if we put him where there are opportunities to see all kind of designs, inventions, to see all, to have all kind of technology, to have all kind of things? Hey, you know what you'll be doing? The schools that you have, at, you know, before we go to the schools, the lightning, one light, is it one lightning that can produce for five years? Or tell me about that, about the lightning more. Yeah, normally a, 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 a strike of lightning can generate power. Or a strike of lightning will generate steady power for five years and 30 days. One yeah, strike? The, what, the, the, yeah, just one strike. It can generate power for five years and thirty days. What what Just amount strike. what amount of power will it generate? How much? It, it can we can generate up to five mega volts, five million volts, you know, and we can also generate up to more than um one one billion watts. We can generate up to five billion watts. Because total lightning comes with over an average power of twenty billion watts. Yeah, but why so did you why did you say five? Because five, five billion watts that is more than all the electricity in the world. Five million um, votes. Five billion. And then one billion watts. One yeah. billion watts is more than one billion, one billion watts is more than all the electricity the world produces. Yeah, yeah. Now, sir, I, I would like to tell you: Is there any power that is more greater on Earth than lightning? The answer is no, because even when even in no, Nigeria, what about yeah, what, what about atomic? It, what about uh, nuclear power? Atomic power, nuclear power. Yeah, nuclear power is actually greater than that, that of lightning. But in the world, how many how many countries uses nuclear power as source of electricity? There are six. There are six. There are six countries. Yeah. Uh, yes. Nuclear power is above that of lightning. But uh, apart from nuclear power, fossil fuel and uh, uh, um, coal, uh, gas, then uh, this uh, solar, wind, hydro. They cannot be compared with the power of lightning. Even geothermal energy, they cannot be compared with the power of lightning. Biogas, bioelectricity, they can't be compared with the power of lightning. So apart from nuclear energy, where you know uranium gas is being brought in, is being enclosed in, in an enclosed job, and then the, the heat that is being generated from uranium gas goes through a turbine, heat turbine, which drives the turbine. Then the turbine generates power, and the power is being stepped up. You know, apart from using uranium gas. Other things, there's no power of no power again that is greater than that of lightning apart from nuclear energy. What well, okay? Have and you studied? No have you studied? Have you studied Nikola Tesla's uh, you know uh, me me methods and theorem on uh, electricity generation? No. 
have not studied that of Tesla uh, uh, way of generating electricity. But all I have to say here is that the annexing zone is due to retain, one of the annexing zones will be built to retain energy for 8,928 hours. So, no, no, say that. I, I, didn't, I didn't get you. Say that again, please. One of the annexing zones yes. will be built to annex energy, like as in static energy from lightning, for 8,928 hours. That's a year and seven days. So, and we are going to build five an, uh, uh, annexing zones that will store, each of them will, be, will store energy for a year and seven days, a year and that's 8,000. 8,928 hours, that's a year and seven days. So times five, that is five years and 40-something days. Not even five years and 30 days. Five years and 40-something days. No, but what, what, amount, what amount would that be? That five years, how much electricity will be produced in that amount of time? The five, the five megavolts, that's five million volts. And then we can generate up to one billion watts, depending on what we are building to unless that okay, so one. That comes from the five. So that five year something will be equal to five million votes. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, sir. The five years is equal to five million votes. Now, even if there is discharge eh, from the lightning array, so maybe there, maybe some energy is being you know leaking. If there is lightning again, it will it will supplement the energy that was lost back again to, to another five years. For, oh, automatically. Is, yes, because the lightning arrestor, there's a there's a sensor between the lightning arrestor that we are going to build in China or Russia or Germany or US. You know, there is going to be a a link between the sensor and the lightning arrestor. Now, inside the lightning arrestor, the hopper chamber here will attract the the all the power that comes from lightning. Just like this lightning arrestors we have on top of masks, on top of houses in Nigeria. Yes. Then the lower chamber inside the lightning arrestor is what, what I call the resistance filter. Okay. It's going to filter what is designed, as what was programmed by the lightning arrestor to do. Now we are going to, in China or in Russia or in Germany or in US, we are going to, are going to build the lightning arrestor in a way that the resistance filter will filter maximum of 5 megavolts, 5 million volts. Yeah, I'm going to explain something, how lightning damages our electronics. Now, when thunder strikes, the charges falls down to your lightning arrestor. Right. Some goes down to the earth. Yeah, some goes down to the earth. Now, the earth rod on the floor, on the ground, we carry these charges down to the earth wire in the house. Now, if your electronics were plugged to the wall socket in the house, the energy that comes from that edge rod from outside, the lightning energy that comes from the edge rod from outside, will link down to your edge in the house, in your wall socket. Your neutral, that is your neutral in the in the plug, we carry that energy from the edge wire, the edge wire in the socket. The neutral will carry that energy down to the electronics. Now, if there is a fuse, a protection, a protective device, which is a fuse inside that electronics, the lightning, the lightning energy may strike the fuse and the fuse will blow off. So when it blows off, even when there is no power or when there is power outage, even when it blows the fuse, the arc current, that's a very high magnitude current, jumps from that from one level to the second breakage of the fuse. The second level, you know, a fuse is a tiny wire that joins like this. So when it breaks, there is a separation. Yes. Now in that separation, now inside the fuse, the arc current will jump from this, from where the lightning is coming from, down to the other side of the fuse that was broken, and continue its journey. Now, when it gets to the electronics, to the power source, it will, it will supply this high power inside the electronics, and the electronics will be forced to come on hmm. during rainy or after rainy. Now, when it forces the electronics to come on, it will now blow the electronics. So, you may have heard of lightning blowing people's electronics, lightning damages people's television, lightning damages people's radio. Lightning burning and, and, and transmitters, you know, and receivers. Yeah, when they have poor earthing system. This is the phenomenon how lightning damages our electronics. So even when there is no light, sometimes when there's a fluorescent tube, you know, hang outside during lightning, sometimes light it may attract lightning, lightning energy. The lightning energy may go straight to that fluorescent light, 
energize it, the frozen light will come on and then it will come, it will flash. When it flashes, it will burn the fluorescent light. Yeah. There, there was a certain time in the United States, there was no light. There was public power outage. So it was raining. My neighbor, Papa Chidi, in the United States, his electronics were, uh, his socket was turned on. And there was no light. So his socket was on. The electronics were, were off because there was no, there was public power outage. So during raining, there was this heavy thunder strike that struck, you know. So the, the electronics came on, that's his own theater, was powered, and then got damaged immediately. So you have to take the electronics out for repair. You have to take the electronics out for repair. I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, Emmanuel, I want to challenge you about something. Which I yes, think sir. which I think will increase your capacity largely. Now, yes, I'm not an engineer, and I'm not an engineering specialist or electricity specialist, but because I read white, I read a lot i try to educate myself so i have some understanding about every, almost most most of the things including engineering and electricity and physics but i want you to write down i don't know if you can type or write down anything or remember you can remember them you can remember don't yes, worry sir. look for nikola tesla generator or energy generating methods of yeah. Nikola Tesla. Look for it and study it. It's going to increase and it's going to really empower you a lot. Then after that, after you do that and you discover, I'm sure you will discover some things there. Yes, it's all in the internet. You write me on my messenger, I mean my uh, Facebook, inbox me and let's talk about yes, it. That's the number one, uh, uh, number one assignment for you. Yes, Num sir. Number two assignment. I'm... Are you following me? Yes, I'm, I'm with you, sir. Number two assignment. Uh, go and look also for... A ma no, there is also another person, another man, that is called Hubbard. 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 Yes, Hubbard. 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 So that Hubbard also, like Tesla, invented electricity generation uh, method. So look for Tesla's method of generation of electricity and Hubbard's method of electricity generation. Yes, sir. Hubbard method of electricity generator or Hubbard gener uh, generator, those two things. They are the best in the. They are the. They are the most revolutionary that have been done in the world, and I don't know if you know uh, Elon Musk. Have you heard of Elon Musk? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's Tesla car. Tesla car. It's so it Elon is Musk. because yes. Elon Musk also was like you, you know, in Africa. He's an African guy too. He was like you, but it, it was not prominent in Africa when he was there until he moved to Canada. But he, what made him to really? be doing everything he's doing right now is because he studied tesla that's why he dedicated that car the, first, the one he's producing now to he called his tesla cars because it was when he started studying tesla and his met methods that is when he started understanding and even though he had some things before but everything just exploded for him exploded yes so yes, i sir. think God is going to use you to become another uh, Elon Musk and even more than that or another Nikola Tesla mm -hmm. of our age or Thomas mm -hmm. Edison in Jesus name. But talking about uh, the mm -hmm. electricity generator, uh, the generation you are talking about mm -hmm. now, do you know when I spoke to uh, Emeka Nelson, he also spoke to me about the technology God gave him, the idea Oh, I don't know if you, you didn't see my interview with him, huh? 
I saw it, sir. Okay, because he, we spoke and he told me, he spoke to me about uh, his, you know, what God showed him, the possibility of generating electricity from the ground, from land. Thermal energy. Yes. Yeah. That's thermal energy. Thermal energy. So that's the one he is working on. So thermal energy. Okay. So, um, why did you, why were you say, talking about building this plant in, or generator or station in Russia or in China? Because here in Nigeria, we don't build, we don't produce um, um, this and um, ultra capacitors or super capacitors. We don't produce um, lightning arrestors with resistance filter. We don't produce sensors that you know that we do the work of lightning the to that we do the work of the thunder lightning energy converter but we have a lot of sensors that, that will be fixed by the instrumentation and control engineers we don't produce them here so we don't produce and um, and the conversion zone that will convert static energy to electrical energy and we don't produce even high tension step down transformers we don't produce them here so that's why we're looking at i'm looking at russia germany and china or US, where these things can be produced with my specification. Hmm. Okay, let me see if we have some people who might be interested in our conversation today. Uh, it's possible that there are some people who know what we are talking about or who understand the whole concept of uh, our discussion today. And any one of you that want to contribute to this discussion, please, I would like you to call. I would like to invite as many people as possible to call into the program and let's, let's commend the efforts of Emmanuel and let's discuss this topic. And uh, if you want to call, the way to call is for you to go to Facebook Messenger. Go to Facebook Messenger. And when you get to Facebook Messenger, look for uh, Move Agents. One word, Move Agents. Go to Facebook Messenger and look for Move Agents. And when you get to Move Agents, send us a note or uh, an SMS, a test that you want to call or you want to contribute, and then we will call you back. So go to and look for move agents, and then send us a, a message and we'll call you back. Um, as any government official, the minister, of uh, energy or ministry of, you know, yeah, or any kind of federal government agents, have they got in touch with you at all? Emmanuel? Well, now, no. Since I started this, uh, yeah, I'm with you, sir. No, they have not actually come. They've not gotten in touch with me. So I, I have just been, I, ha, I have some um, people, you know, who do, you know, you know, encourage me little, you know, to fund, to do little research or more research. You know, people from Nigeria here yeah, and even a, a lady in, the, in a Texas, USA, that's Tina Lassie. And then some people in Nigeria here, yeah, like... Uh, it is true, Caro, that I... Is it true, Caro? Yeah, we have... Yeah, yeah, so me, Carol, Carol Kanye Akamune also encourages me, you know, financially and in advice, coaching and others. Yeah, then a lot of people, you know, there are so many, even in this and um, um, Riga, there's a lady called um, um, Riga uh, in Nigeria, and she's in Lagos, they, they support me. But Nigerian government have not actually come because they know that if this should come to Limelight, generator users will no longer buy fuel to run their generators again. Banks, churches, and ministries will no longer buy diesel to power their listers, their packings, or their mechanical generator anymore. So they know the consequences. That is why they don't want to call. I have been talking for three years now that we are going to change Nigeria, that Nigeria will be different, that we are going to change Nigeria. And every, some people are believing me. Some people are laughing at me. But all these things that we are talking about now, that government is not sponsoring, not supporting, believe me, my brother, everything will change. Amen. 
But when I talk like this, people think it is just proud. What does he think he is? Or who does he think he is? I just said, don't count me in now. I cannot now because I'm in Ukraine. I, I cannot leave Ukraine because of my lawsuits. But once I get to Nigeria, you hear that person they get to Nigeria. In the next few years from there, you will, not have this, you will not hear this kind of stories again. There is no way someone like you will remain without support. Anybody that has a dream like you, either is an inventor, innovator, or business, Yes, sir. Uh, your story is going to change, believe me. And you are going to go to any school you want. You are going to go to any, uh, any you are going to have any kind of exposure you need. And um, yeah, don't worry. Very soon and very soon. Let just, God just determine the time I will leave here. Let it be as fast as possible. Once that happens, you know, it's very, very disheartening to hear that people like you are not getting support. Okay, I think there might be some other questions uh, that I have not asked you that you might want me, that you might want to talk about that I have not asked you. I will come to tell you to think about any other thing you would like to, for our audience to know, not just me, but all the people who are watching us, everything you want us to know. But you, you will let us, I will give you the time to say that. But meanwhile, I want to uh, talk about this book that I have here. And this book is, you know, can you see, show me the book, Innovation and Innovative. Uh, so this book is, uh, is for inventors, the creative and innovative power of a genius. You know, is to raise up people yeah. like Emmanuel, to raise up creative people, innovative people, genius in our country, to support people like that. And also, I wrote uh, another book. I just released a new book this week. It's about process. Um, process is as important as result. It's because of process. That is why Emmanuel and others are able to produce what they are producing. And uh, I want to encourage you to go get those, these books on Amazon. Or you can read them for free on Kindle Unlimited. Uh, or you can get them also on Okada Books. Uh, for those of you who have not yet joined the mentorship yes. program, uh, you can go to my blog, sonderdelajablog.com slash mentorship. If you want to join our Nigerian trip, you can also go to sonderdelajablog.com, sonderdelajablog.com slash Nigeria to join us on our way to Nigeria. And um, yeah, yes. but anybody that wants to get in touch with uh, Emmanuel, just go to his Facebook uh, page and you can inbox him. You can inbox him. Or oh, do we have his uh, WhatsApp, telephone, everything? Okay, we are going to show Emmanuel's contact so that you'll be able to get in touch with Emmanuel as well. Uh, we'll show you his details. But let's see if we have a caller. Do we have a caller there? So we'll, sh we'll be showing Hello. you why the caller will be talking. I think we'll be showing you the contacts of uh, Emmanuel. Hello? Hello. Yes. Do, yes it, who is calling from where, sir? My name. Good evening, sir. Good evening. My name. My name is Tunde Rafe, sir. Oh, Tunde, Tunde Rafe, Rafe from Nigeria. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How yes, are sir. you? Is this the first time you are calling? Yes, sir. This is the first time, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice to <laughs> nice to hear your voice today. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Ah, uh, in fact, the bro Emmanuel he has in fact, he has done a very great job, sir. Hmm. Has done a very great job. Yes, I'm also I'm in en in engineering uh, and technology. I study electrical electronics engineering, sir. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm interested in the what Emmanuel is doing, and uh, I want to say that in the area of calculation and the uh, business plan, I can work together with him. Good. So regarding that, the calculation, yes. Beautiful. And uh, he also mentioned that uh, we don't produce some of the things in Nigeria here. Yes. But I think that idea is really needed in a, in a develop, uh, I mean, developing nation. So even if you don't produce those things here, we can import them so, so that it's idea. So we can implement it in Nigeria here. So for the improvement of uh, of our nation or other and other nation where 
So they are still lagging behind technologically. So, so in that especially area, African countries. So yes, yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, and uh, that like presently now I work in a power station. So it's Yoro Power Station. It's one of the hydroelectric power station uh, that we have in Nigeria. So the capacity of the generating plant there is uh, 600 megawatt. 600 megawatt. So, but what he's saying, he said you can generate one billion watt, and that is one megawatt. So, so we, we need to work together. So, by the grace of God, to see how uh, his idea, so will be of uh, blessing to everyone. No, so but one, the one, you know, the one, the one billion watt. I mean, what? he's talking about is only from one strike. From one strike, he said. Oh. Yes, yes, okay, okay, yeah. So it's still, it's still small somehow. So, but by the time, so by the time we put the things together, I think it will, uh, say it will be, it will come up. Say it will come up. And that's a, so it's a very good idea, sir. It's a very, very good idea, yes. So, so thank you very much. Sir. So can you yes. please get in touch, we are showing his uh, contact now, information. Please, uh, okay, you sir. can find it and get in touch with him. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, in fact, I, I, I enjoy the program, sir. It so is because, Andre, because it is your area. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do, is, there any question, work... is there any question you have for Emmanuel? Uh, no, no question, sir. No question. You understand now, everything he's uh, talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand it, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Why do you think yes. that the government is not interested in these kind of people? Uh, uh, they, I, I don't think the government is not interested in them. Oh. Yeah. So, because uh, there are even some young, young people that, it's just that he has not been identified okay. so by the appropriate uh, people. So because the real nation building is not in the, uh, in the government. So it is as... Uh, people like him, people like Emmanuel, and other people bring the idea together, so so that our nation can be uh, developed. So I, I don't think government is not interested in in his, uh, uh, in people like this. Uh. Okay. So, so what? But what he, he has not been identified. He has not been identified. What about uh, yes, sir. What about uh, private private businesses? Are you is your own station where you are working a private business? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's private firm. We are in uh, into telecommunication. Okay. So we yes we run our uh, fiber optics, fiber yeah. optics on Nigeria power station. So that's called uh, area area fiber optics. So it's different from the one that they bury under ground. Yes. So, is to carry to carry video to carry messages and uh, uh, data. So that's what we are into. So telecommunication services. So, but it's a private firm. And yes. those kind of businessmen, yeah. those kind of businessmen, yes, like the, the owner of your company, wouldn't they be interested in people like yes, uh, Emmanuel? In fact, we are interested in him, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. So okay. we are interested in him. So if there is a gap, I think Emmanuel, there is, there is a gap, in fact, the, a gap that he can feel, that idea can feel in, uh, in this nation. So it, it's a very good uh, idea. We are interested in Let, him. Before you we go, like to this, the... uh, there's this, there's this uh, Tony Elu Melu, uh, this thing, yes. that sponsored that idea. So it's just that the money from there may not be... so. So it sponsors uh, ideas like that. So if you want to operate as a as a private firm, so it's still okay. So but if you want what it generate to be added to the national grid, so that's another uh, so that it will be an additional uh, footage to the national grid. Yes. So, uh, so that's another uh, this thing, sir. Yeah, yeah, but he said he can do it anyhow. I think it depends on who sponsors him. If it's going to be the government who will sponsor him, it could be added to the national grid. If it's going to be private, yeah. it will be private. Uh -huh. Exactly, yes. It can be private. It can be private. So it depends. 
say depend. I, I think Emmanuel has he has come to the appropriate quarters now. So because based on your the uh, the program you did the other time, that the uh, open invitation to anyone that has a body for Nigeria. Yes. So, uh, I think uh, he has come to the appropriate uh, area by the grace of God. Amen. So, uh, so in fact, I'm happy for him. I'm very, very. It's a very, it's a, it's a very good idea, sir. Before you go today, uh, let me uh, ask yes, Emmanuel. Sir. Emmanuel, uh, what is the maximum capacity that you think could be produced by this your method? Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm I'm with you. Oh, okay, okay. We are hearing you. Yes. What do you think is the maximum capacity? I think if it's going to be yeah. from thunder, I think the capacity will be on limitless, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this thunder lightning comes with an average power of twenty billion watts and a, and a maximum voltage of three hundred and thirty million volts. That's three hundred and thirty mega volts. So we can generate as much as we want to generate. We can trap as much as we want to try. If we don't, if we don't want to trap, it all depends on the analysis zone that we are building from China or from Russia or from Germany. So we can generate unlimited amount of electricity? Yes, sir. <laughs> so it's a... Tunde, yes. I'm hearing you, Tunde. Yeah, yes. Okay, that, yes. If it is unlimited, it's okay, sir. So it's okay. If it is unlimited... So, like, uh, there's a one uh, power project that is also going on in Mambila uh, Plateau State. Yes. So, it's uh, 3,000 3, megawatts. So, that's the maximum, it's, it's the maximum generating station in Nigeria now, presently. So, 3,000 uh, plus megawatts. But it, so has not started, bring... it has not started working now. Yes, sir. It's yeah, yes, but sir. So it's it's still actually, under, it's not started uh, working. But if you look at the uh, industrial plan, you know what I'm saying. Uh, today, about, today, yes. today oh, wait, wait. Yes, sir. Emmanuel wants to say something. Hello, come on, Emmanuel. Yeah, it has not actually started working now because there is no uh, form to form the projects. But uh, but what I'm trying to say right here, now, if you look at the industrial plans with I have, the 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 unless the trapping zone, you know, is different from the the the, the sensory zone. It's different from the annexing zone. It's different from the, the conversion zone. And then it's different from the transmission zone. So actually, even if it has not started working, but the industrial plan, we can work with what I have here. And it's going to come to, it's going to work. It's going to come to limb lights by actually seeing what I have on ground. Wow. So you can combine it with what you are doing and it will begin to work. Yeah, actually, actually, if we team, we come as a team, as a collaborative uh, and people as collaborative engineers we work on what is on ground okay yes we, we work so we work on what is on ground because i have various plants various diagrams so many as about i have about uh, four in, in different different plants the one of 2004 the one of 2010 the one of 2012 and the one of 2013 i have the uh, various plants right here so if we work with what we have on ground it's going to work and uh, not based on assumption okay. Okay, for example, Nigeria government, Nigeria as a country, we need minimum of 40 mega, giga, 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 gigawatts. Capacity. That, yes, we need 40 that, gigawatts of electricity just for Nigeria to function and not have power failure. 40 gigawatt. That is the minimum. Yeah. Or what do you say yeah. about that, Emmanuel? That means, that means, Nigeria, that means we are going to build enough enough annexing zone so many annexing zone that we annex as much as we need because thunder lightning is large enough to feed so many you know uh, uh, annexing storage devices as much as we need thunder light is big enough to to charge them up is it is a free energy it comes from the cloud before any you know after it, any but it's the storage and it, it is the storage you need the free energy yeah yeah so we can build a, a massive storage by mighty Gingatic storage devices that will unless this energy and we are good to go before we need any country. The yeah. the biggest country with electricity is Russia. Russia has the largest okay. amount of electricity production in the world. Then America yeah. and China. I, but they are they, I think they only have about two hundred and two hundred and fifty 
uh, gigawatts. Okay. So, but no, with, with, this yes. What do you say, Manuel? I, I, I think these countries are using uh, uh, nuclear energy. That's one yes, that. yes. Those countries are using nuclear energy, yeah, atomic energy, and they use different yeah. ones too. But uh, nobody is using uh, thunder right now. Nobody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah. what did you say, Manuel? Because I'm saying that since uh, what do you say? I say every event, every invention must. Every invention must come to limb lights. Yes. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we are here now. Yes, yeah. I said. Yes, I said every invention must come to limb lights. Yeah, because if we have the right set of people, the electric, the engineers, you know, that are needed by me, if we have them you know, in place, and we'll start working on this, we'll come, we'll bring us, you know, a, a working, you know, pro a prototype. We'll bring that a. A, a, a massive power generating plant that can that can suit the country's need for power. Like I said, even even people they are scared of holding a, a metallic umbrella under the rain when it is like during lightning, you know, because they know that it's really really disastrous. Okay, Tunde, what would you like to say about that? Yeah. Uh, Iva, what I want to say now is that uh, let's, Emmanuel, let's be looking at how we can implement that idea in the African nation. Yes. Okay. So, uh, that developing uh, so they, nation that I, you know is an unconquered territory now. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so uh, that's it. Yes, sir. Yes. You are making noise. There's noise coming from your phone. Hello, sir. You have a lot of noise coming from your phone. Is it from my... Oh, maybe it's not from your own. Maybe it's from Emmanuel. Uh, no. It's okay now. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. okay it's okay now, yeah. So, uh, Emmanuel, Tunde, please, make sure you get in touch with Emmanuel and maybe you All will right, introduce sir. him to your company. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. He's highly welcome, sir. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. Be, yes. God bless uh, you. Right, Bye. All right, sir. All right, sir. Amen. Bye, Bye. sir. Yeah. Yes. But what I would like to tell you, Emmanuel, is that even if the federal government or any business something, if they invite you, you go. Begin to do something with them. But wait for me. Me, I they come. None of them will do for you what, yes, by the grace of God, God will help me to do for you. By the grace of God. Yes, wait. You know, get, take anybody that will come, but... We are, you know, by the grace of God, every dream that you don't even have now, God will help you to bring it to pass. Amen. Wow. There's this new idea God even gave me recently. Yeah, recently. You, something happened yeah. to your, what happened to your telephone? Is the one making noise, the speaker. Can you fix it so that it doesn't, it doesn't make that noise? Your speaker, not telephone, your earphone, earphone. So that it will, not be, it will not be shaking like that. Yes. Okay, it's good now. Hello, I think we have a caller. Hello? Yes, good evening, DSA. Good evening, sir. Who is calling from where? Yes, uh, I'm Pastor Jonas. I am calling from the United Arab Emirates. Yes, Pastor Jonas. Yes, uh, actually, uh, I have been trying to call in since yesterday, but uh, it was uh, fortunate that uh the program had already finished but thank god you got through today so make a talk you are already here now yes uh, i've been following the program today uh, it is quite interesting and i want to also appreciate you for the uh, great job that you are doing you are touching areas that are very very important you know uh, to human existence and i think that the work you are doing is beyond uh, the church work, the normal church work that every conventional pastor uh, does as well. So I want to say thank you on that. And then uh, I just uh, want to uh, come in uh, uh, in, in the area of uh, uh, technology uh, concerning the young uh, innovator who is actually on the platform there now. Yes. Hello? Actually, um, as a person, I have been... Uh, 
doing a lot. Actually, I work in the United Arab Emirates and I also do business. So I actually am doing a lot on partnership now. I'm doing a lot, both studies and uh, practically on business. So I want to uh, suggest that um, when people uh, with such great ideas and uh, creativity uh, come on board, I think that um, if there is a way that um, you can uh, harness some kind of uh, partnership with business that, with that is, with businessmen. Yes, with businessmen, we can send proposals. We can write letters. Why I am saying this is because the political system in Nigeria does not encourage things like this. That is what we need to know. In as much as uh, you are planning to go to Nigeria and we are also uh, going to support uh, whatever you're going to do in Nigeria, but we need to understand that we need to create a base, okay. a base that is not dependent on the government. Okay. Yes, we need to create a base that is not dependent on the government. The government must, might start responding maybe when we must have put in money and then we must have made a lot of effort because the cabal that uh, govern nigeria they are threatened things projects like this threaten them okay you know they are so much they are, yes they are so much uh, interested in power that they don't care about how other people will live their lives they don't care about how the country will be developed so i think that the way forward is for us that have like minds to put up money. It is possible, uh, DSA. Yes. That is what I'm doing with people. If people have ideas, um, I am a, I am half Cameroonian, half uh, Nigerian. My mother is a Cameroonian and my father is a Nigerian. Okay. So, yes, I have uh, both nationalities. So I work, uh, uh, I go to both countries always. Okay. So what I'm trying to say, I have made my observations. The same crisis that we have in Nigeria are the same crisis that we have in Cameroon. It is something that is familiar with Africa. So, but what we need to do is, we need to borrow a lift from what Akon is doing. Akon is bringing his own money and his own investors. Yes. And when he comes like that, he begins from somewhere. We have a lot of great ideas that have great visions that have died because they came and they were looking up to the government. The government is not interested at this moment. And it is very difficult for common people who have great ideas to generate money. That is the problem. It is very difficult for startups. In countries like the United States and the, the UK and some other countries in the West, they have, they have understanding. So when people come up with great ideas, they give them money. They put in money to help them start up. But in Africa, most African countries, it's not like that. So it is we, the individuals, who are seeing little money. We have to put up money and then build these things as a company. And then if the government becomes interested, then we are going to do, uh, they will now work with us. We'll give them the condition. But the people in power right now, they, it will be very difficult. I am not saying it is not possible, but it is going to take a longer time to actually uh, achieve that. So that is a uh, part of uh, 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 my suggestion for today. So I think that in order not to allow these great minds and these innovations to die, it is good for us to begin to also uh, come up with meetings, plans on how to raise money and articulate them because what that our brother is saying there is beyond uh, the social media. We need to sit down and look at paperwork. We need to look at those drawings. There are still things that there are improvements, actions for improvement that needs to be done. You know, the, the, we need to look at how, plan on how to implement all of those things. Those, are, those things are things that we need to sit down and then create a team that will be able to look at them. I'm very encouraged Hello. by your proposals. If you want to join, because yeah. I, I have a team, but not this kind of team though, not the one you are proposing. Yeah. My own team is just yeah. uh, brainstorming, what do you call them, think tank yeah. team that are working yeah. with me about my going to Nigeria. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, but in, in this case, 
I would really like you, maybe you could get in touch with me also by writing me in, the, in my inbox so that we could discuss it further. And also be free to get in touch with uh, Emmanuel and also with the maker and Jerry. Oh, you, you know, I have been bringing different people like this. So you could also go to, uh, you know, if you go to my YouTube page and you look for uh, the, the playlist, I think the playlist is called Creative and Innovative Hour. Is that the way? We have a playlist like that. Okay, so you will see all the people who have been coming on the program, and you might also want to talk to any one of them too. Okay, so that is what I'm saying. The 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 you know the the issue. One other thing I want to also talk about is the issue of the uh, political and the religious cabals. The political cabals are more dangerous than the religious cabals because they are capable of killing people. Yeah, you know. So, so the project you are going to do in Nigeria, you have to also understand that these people will do everything to kill you physically. Yes. That is what you need to know also, because they don't want change. And there is also this group of people who think that they are born to rule in Nigeria, that they don't, they don't care about technology, they don't care about education, they don't care about the well-being of Nigeria. All they care about is to be in power. Hmm. So you have to understand that we have to deal with these people. They are the most dangerous. The religious cabals can submit at a point. Okay. But the political cabals have capacity to murder people hmm. without regret. Hmm. That is why you see in Kaduna, in Kano, in the northern Nigeria, and in other places in Nanji Benue, you are seeing they are killing people, and even the international community, nobody is talking about it. Yeah. Whereas only a few people were shot in a country near, uh, I will not call the name to, you know, to in order not to create tension. Yeah. A few people were shot in a worship place, and then uh, it has been all over the news. But a lot of uh, 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 Christians are being killed all over, and nobody is talking about it. So we need to understand that... Um, what is going on is that there are people that wa that want to kill. They are hungry to kill people. So what I'm trying to say is that in as much as you are going there, those are the things you need to consider. The religious cabal, they can do anything for power. Beautiful. The, you are going to develop Nigeria, but they might think you are coming to take political power from them. Yeah. That is the issue. So, DSA, one other thing also before I will give the... Uh, I will leave the platform for other people to talk, is that I will also suggest that you go into Nigeria with more of uh, the uh, uh, agenda to innovate, to establish business, to build companies, because one of the major challenges that we are facing in Africa, especially in Nigeria, is extreme poverty. People don't know where and how to start something. There are people that don't have the opportunity to make 10, 20, 50, 30,000 every month. You can see minimum wage that the federal government is going back and forth with just to pay Nigerians common 30,000 naira. That is not up to $100. It's a big deal in Nigeria. Whereas it's one of the uh, biggest oil producing uh, countries in the world. So that is to tell you that they don't have value for human life and our people need to survive. So if there is money and there is plan. Let us open businesses, companies in Nigeria and employ people and begin from there. When we begin to influence the people's life positively, they will not be able to, if we come up to say, okay, we want this position or that position in government, they will be able to vote us properly. Because what is going on in Nigeria now is not a proper voting system. There is a lot of fraud, violence, and a lot of rigging going on, both on the both sides. Yeah. on the both parties. So the, if you want to go straight into politics now, they might get you mixed up into that mess. And you know, they will try to scandalize you, drag you to court. And by the time you, you begin to go to court every day here and there, you find out that you will not be able to execute your agenda because they, there is so much distraction. So this is this this is just the uh, these are just the few things that I wanted to contribute today. Maybe some other time I will talk more. I know that some other people might want to contribute. Jonas, brilliant, brilliant, great ideas. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Now, Emmanuel, you are saying okay. something. You said God gave you another agenda as, as well. Emmanuel. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Yes, I hear you now. Yes, I do. 
Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Yeah. This other, yeah, this other idea is, you know, it's like a a, a media in the atmosphere. We have a computer room. It's like a what? Yeah. In in maybe on Earth. It's like a media that will, that will be done in the atmosphere. Media. So as we, yeah, it's, it's like it's like adverts. As we as we want to do an advert on a TV. Okay. This time it should no longer be done in it. It should be done in the sky. So around around, around seven p.m. in the in the night or eight p.m. You know, you people will be seeing their adverts in the sky. Yes. You know. we, so it's an idea, God. You know, and it will be light lightning, right? Yeah, it should, it should be like um, the, the the program will be done here on Earth. Then they will send it to the and to the to the TV in the sky. And it's just like all this big digital billboard that is mounted on Earth. You know, now it's not going, we are not going to use um, we are not going to build it from the Earth level. Now it is, we are going to shoot it in form of a rocket. It's going to be in form of a satellite to carry a very large screen in the in the atmosphere in the atmosphere or in the sky. So if someone wants to maybe send a maybe maybe send a message now like Jesus is coming soon. Maybe someone wants to send a message like uh, Jesus is coming soon. You know through the the use of that uh, this that uh, hold hold uh, your backpack. Yeah, take care of your uh, earphone because it's making noise. Okay, it's good now. Can you see me now? Yeah. Yeah. So instead of if someone wants to do maybe an advert, like I can't see, like uh, maybe Jesus is coming soon. So instead of the person, instead of it to be done in the on TV on Earth TV, it can be done in in the Sky TV. You know, so people will be seeing everything that as in the sky, just like the way they are watching TV. That that will be seeing it in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, wonderful idea! Wonderful idea. Well, uh, I would like us to also show uh, Emmanuel's information. Emmanuel, make sure that that your thing. The okay, Namia. I think someone is trying to call him or something. Yes. Hi, DSA. This is Bishop Akintola here. Oh, Bishop Akintola. It's been a long time. Good evening. Good evening. It's been a long while. Yeah, we just need you to speak louder, while. sir. Yeah, it's been a long while. And uh, I've been following uh, some of the broadcasts. Okay. Uh, I just want to uh, keep in uh, something I think very, very important. And I think it uh, should be the one of the essential steps that needs to be taken now in order to help this guy. Okay. And that is first thing to, to do is to help this guy patent all of his ideas. Oh, okay. Yes, that's the first step. These are great ideas. But there are a lot of wolves out there who are ready to hijack this great idea from this young man. If he's not to be discouraged. He doesn't have the finances or the resources or sometimes uh, how to get about doing these things. I think one of the greatest help that you could render to this guy is to first of all patent all of his ideas. Okay. And then whilst he develops more ideas and so on and so forth, but the ones he's got, he's got now, sh he should be helped to patent this idea worldwide so that he has the patent of this idea everywhere in the world today so that no one can hijack this idea and because they have money, they have the resources to develop it, they will just go ahead and produce this product, his, you know, his innovation en masse. And so he, he loses out at the end of the day. Wow. I think one of the great, uh, the first thing that should be d given to this guy is to help him patent all of his ideas. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then once that is done, no one can come and hijack it and so on and so forth. Then we have the opportunity now 
to and the time to develop these ideas, create whatever infrastructure or organization that would be necessary to start uh, generating and producing this product and the power he's planning, uh, he's planning to generate. I mean, from what he said, these are thunder, uh, this power from thunder and lightning uh, is second to none in the whole wide world as we speak. Yeah. So you better understand that it's not something people just sit down and allow this, this guy to run with this idea. Hmm. God gave him the idea. I think he should reap the benefit of it. I think also it confirms the assignment that God gave you to turn Nigeria around, to take the prominent position in the plan of God for this planet, yes. for this our time. I think it, uh, I think uh, uh, such a time like this, this, this connection that you have with him is divine. Yeah. So that would be, what I would suggest you see how you can help this guy patent all of his ideas, not just the, the thunder thing, uh, but every of the ideas was listening to the the power generating clock he was talking about. It seems he has a lot of ideas, a lot of inventions and innovation that no, hardly no one has heard about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's, 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 it's a step in the right direction if he gets some kind of encouragement, some kind of uh, help. I think uh, patenting all these ideas would be the first help he needs right now. Beautiful, sir. Thank you, yes. Bishop. Thank you so very much. Wonderful, right. wonderful. Yes. Okay. Yes. So okay. Uh, we are going yeah. to do that for Emmanuel for sure. That's it. Yeah. Let's let the shades run up. Uh, if I can't add the one in that, that's not a no problem. So, uh, we, you know, we, we are, meanwhile, I also want to use this opportunity to encourage everybody that is watching to go and join the mentorship program that I run for free. Uh, on the night is on sundayadilajablog.com slash mentorship. You can go and join that for free. Our next History Makers is coming up in April from the 8th to the 12th. You can also go and register for that by going to sundayadilajablog.com slash HMT or writing to HMT at godembassy.org. Uh, if you want to join us to Nigeria, you can also go to register by going to sundayadilajablog.com slash Nigeria. Uh, this book, The Creative and Innovative Power of a Genius, you can uh, join, you, you can uh, get it on Amazon, or you can actually read it for free on Kindle Unlimited, or buy it on Amazon, or on uh, Okada Books. Uh, then the latest book I just released is about processes. Yeah, the reason Emmanuel and people like him have been able to have results and produce results is because they understand processes. So I want to en uh, encourage all of you, and these are our problem, the problem with our country. Our people don't understand processes. Now, somebody wrote a, a letter to me and said that, no, in the banks and in the companies, in the corporate world in Nigeria, people understand processes. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> corporate world is the international standard, definitely. But we are talking about Nigeria as, the, as per average person, as per normal people. Uh, so... Uh, that's uh, where the problem is. We need everybody to understand the importance of process. So you can get that book, and I hope it will be a blessing to all of you. Um, Emmanuel, before we go, is there anything you would still like to say before we leave today that you would like to tell people who are watching us? Yes, I would like to tell Nigerians and Africans, the world at large, that those that are watching, that they should not give up on their dreams. They should continue that no matter what, one day they will shine on the world to celebrate them. Because quitters don't, a winner don't quit, and quitters don't win. So they should not give up on their dream. They should, they should be encouraged. They should continue to encourage themselves until they hit it at the day end. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. I'm sure many people will be contacting you now and uh, stay in touch with me as well. And uh, congratulations because this is the beginning of a new dawn for you, for your calling, and for your inventions in Jesus' name. So thank you Amen. so much. Blessings. Thank you so much, sir. Well, to our viewers, I want to say 
such talents do, uh, we have back at home, and we need to discover them and help them to uh, come to surface and also help them to uh, accomplish the dreams and the vision that they have. Please, if God is leading you to do anything for Emmanuel, please go and get in touch with him and let us help him to bring all this his dream uh, to pass. Well, um, I think we've had a wonderful evening with you today. I will be coming back in the next 10, 15 minutes to continue my series on the church, uh, How to Know God Through the Church. And uh, please join us. And uh, we'll see you in 10, 15 minutes. Peace.